The gymnast starts on the floor at time t equals zero, with initial upwards velocity of u and acceleration due to gravity downwards of g. At a later time t, the gymnast lands with a downwards velocity of v and still with an acceleration due to gravity downwards of g. At both of these points, the gymnast is at a displacement of s equals zero. As the acceleration is constant through the jump, we can use the equation of motion s equals ut plus a half a t squared. The displacement moved, s is equal to naught, and the acceleration is equal to minus g. The minus sign is because we've defined upwards to be positive, and the acceleration due to gravity is downwards, which must therefore be negative. This then gives us 0 equals ut minus g over 2 times t squared. One solution for this is t equals 0, but that's just the start before the gymnast has jumped. The other more interesting solution gives u minus gt over 2 equals 0. You can then rearrange this in order to work out u in terms of g and t. We then want to substitute in the value for g with 9.81 meters per second squared and the value for t, the time needed to complete one entire somersault of 0.8 seconds to find a numerical answer.